How's it going guys? This is Bioman251 here bringing you another tutorial. Well, actually this will be my first tutorial, but whatever. We're going to go over how to get video from your PS3 to YouTube. And first of all, you'll need three things. You're going to need either a PlayStation or Xbox 360 or any other gaming console, of course. You're going to need a computer and you're going to need a YouTube account. But you may be wondering how do these connect? How do I get PS3 gameplay from my computer to YouTube? Well, this is what this video is going to be about. So, first thing you're going to need, most importantly, is capture equipment. And these capture equipment can either be in standard definition or in high definition depending on how much you're willing to pay for the said equipment and they come in different price ranges and quality you have the easy cap which is what I started off with uh, standard definition not too great looking but it's something nice to start off with it only costs ten dollars then I know a lot of people use a dazzle for a while not that great of a quality but it's I think it was a little bit better than the easy cat and then you have one of the most popular capture devices is the Hapodge HD PBR which is what I am using currently and there are other different ones there's capture cards that connect directly to your PC and you can put that to your comp um between your PS3 and your TV and it connects directly as like a video capture card I believe but I don't have any experience with those but I'm going to make a tutorial on what I am using currently which is the Hapash HD PBR the HD PBR basically operates as a go between between your PS3 your PC and your television or I keep saying PC and PS3 but your console and your computer and there's an other videos online and tutorials that should come with the box that shows you how to connect these two but basically the capture card sent your your console sends the video game footage to your HD PBR the PBR is connected to your computer so you can record while playing live and then it also connects to your TV so your gameplay will be in, won't be interrupted while you're recording. And so this is basically just the basic mechanics of the recording process but we're going to get into now the actual capturing process and recording process and eventually we're going to make it to the rendering and uploading to YouTube part. Okay, now it's like uh, every capture equipment or a capture device should come with software that allows you to capture from your PS3, capture gameplay to your computer. And if not, you may have to download other programs with the Hapage HB. HB HD PBR came with uh, this program Total Media Extreme 2 and you like that yeah it's pretty hot Scarlett Johansson Avengers can't wait for the movie but anyways back to the subject you click on this and you are you open it up and if your device is powered on you can go to record video and you will see this screen come up as I let it load and this is the total total extreme media 2 device and you see you have different capture things you can but the one you want to look for in the sources which is at the top left is the Hapage HD PBR capture device and here's some of the settings you want to look for the YB PBR input RCA back input for the audio the PC audio mode is two channel stereo, I believe. Device settings, if you want to look at that. Not really important, I believe mine are probably set at default. I am not sure. You want to be 
NVIDIA standard right here lines detected will be depend on your TV my TV is 1920 by 1080 so it will detect this number some TVs may play in 720p HD so it may only detect 720 lines um, let's see what else the format settings as we go here is 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second I got it at the best everything you want to you want your videos to look good so you want to set this at best and here's just some of the other things you just want to look on but yeah this is the um capture equipment now I always capture regardless of what system I'm playing on I will capture in PlayStation 3 because they save the save format which is down here saves under M2 TS files and I can show you some of the files now let's see let's go to my Call of Duty folder and you see the dot M2 TS files and the reason I like these because sometimes I don't know if other people experience this but the dot M2 S or TS files run better than the other ones if I switch to Xbox 360 it outputs in mp4 files and I don't like outputting in mp4 so I use the PlayStation and it outputs in .m2ts files and you can choose which folder that you want to save your videos in the output folder right here you can change that whenever and if you have a fast enough computer you can able hardware acceleration and preview on recording so you can go and look while you're recording now I am logging on to my ps3 LMG King and you see I just pressed the button it's a little lag in between the video and the TV when it goes to your PC it's a little bit of lag you won't be able to play directly from your computer but you have a preview of what's going on to make sure that you're recording so I'm gonna go I'm gonna record some Call of Duty gameplay for you guys I know a lot of people when they get into the video uploading and commentating thing they a lot of them is for Call of Duty now this has an update might as well update I believe there was a new map pack that came out something for PS3 something like that so they've updated the game but here I'm gonna cut off the video and I'll be right back after the game finishes uploading okay we're now at the Call of Duty model for three screens let's go ahead and click on multiplayer just to give you some kind of preview of what it looks like when you're capturing and I'm still on my computer right now this is you see the stuff on the side this is still my computer and I can go and I'm just gonna go and show you a private match I believe I can do that private match right here yeah and start the game just to show you a little preview and let's go ahead and start the game and wait for it to load up and while it's loading up I'm gonna click right here and it's gonna I'm gonna click capture now don't worry if your screen goes black it just takes a while for the HTPVR to boot up and start now I am recording you see if you can tell I'm not sure how the quality is with this but um I, it shows an elapsed time I've been recording for 13 seconds and you see I can go in to my guns and bam I am recording there's a little bit of lag in between the PC and the PBR so I don't re recommend trying to play with this at all while you're in PC you want to switch over and be looking at your TV while you're recording and you see everything is in HD alright and I'm gonna rec cut the recording here so that's the basics of your capture device so far it's in between your PC and your computer and now that we've recorded that we should now be able to go to our output folder which is the Call of Duty folder which I mentioned earlier go to this and look 
and I'm gonna search I'm gonna search and right here you see a 55 second long video right here and I'm gonna drag this to the desktop so we can save that for later for the capturing process and you see it recorded if you remember the loading screen blah 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 you see 55 seconds I'm skipping through just so you can see the preview and that's what happened so let's go ahead and X that out and when I'm going to get to the editing part so I'm gonna cut the video here and we're gonna make come back to where the editing part begins okay this part of the video we're gonna start we're gonna we're done with our ps3 we're done with our pvr everything now is centered around the computer now for editing and stuff it is nice to have a decent speed computer with the processor wise because editing videos does put a lot of strain on your computer but it can still be done with a regular everyday computer it just take you a little bit longer um, before I used to use my laptop and it was a decent laptop it cost maybe six hundred seven hundred dollars and it did me okay I for maybe like a five six minute video it was just maybe like a standard game of it would take me maybe an hour hour and a half to render which is not too bad I suppose but on my newer desktop that I have, um, I have the new i5, or I have the third generation i5 processor, and it only takes me maybe 15 minutes now to render a video. So it's not it's not bad if you have a decent speed computer. But anyways, you're gonna need certain things to begin editing your videos, and one of those will be a microphone if you want to record commentaries over it of course and you will need a software that edits videos now there are a few software programs that can be used um, I know Pinnacle Studios I believe that came with the Dazzle is included with the Dazzle package or whatever um, there's also Windows Live movie maker that comes default on the computer uh, with Windows 7 I believe is in accessories possibly I haven't used that program in a while I mean it's not that great for editing but it gets the basics done and then you have programs which you can pay for such as Sony Vegas that's what I currently use now and it has a lot more bills and whistles when it comes to editing your videos so since um, I mentioned Sony Vegas I might as well show you how I use Sony Vegas when making Call of Duty commentaries okay now we're at our Sony Vegas screen this is a program I said I used and this shows you the basic interface It's really easy program to use it the editing like slow motion and all that stuff that's a completely different video but for base basic video needs it is a really good program to use uh, it takes a little bit while to get used to but once you get the hang of it it is very simple and probably the easiest I've used so far and there's a few free programs that you can use like I mentioned before like Windows Media Player but this is really worth acquiring you can uh, just Google up Sony Vegas Pro and choose. But anyways, how to add a video to your Sony Vegas. You go to the upper left-hand corner and you click on Open and you can click which library you want to. Mine was on a desktop if you remember. You find a video and you double click on it and bam, the video is now in your Sony Vegas. And you can preview your video by pressing the play button at the bottom depending on the speed of your computer depends on how laggy that would be on my computer I'm using currently it's very efficient at doing this and I can even do commentaries 
while looking at my Sony Vegas, which is really nice, but with my laptop, it was very laggy, so I couldn't um, effectively preview my videos. So yeah, also you want to make commentaries so you can put over your video. And to do that, I use a basic program called Sound Recorder. It comes free with my Windows. I believe it comes free with every Windows, Windows 7. And just look up Sound Recorder. I have mine pinned, Sound Recorder. And I can click Record. And it will give you, I use my Turtle Beaches as my microphone, by the way. And you can hit Record, Record a Test Commentary which I'm doing right there on the screen and then you press stop you choose where you want to save it I save everything on my desktop change your title I'm gonna title it as test commentary and click save and now you have your commentary saved which you are gonna put on top of your video so I will cut the video here and show you now how to add that commentary to your video okay now that we're back to our Sony Vegas screen we can now add the commentary over the video so I'm gonna go to open again and I saved that file my commentary file on my desktop so I'm gonna search for it and you see test commentary I'm gonna open and it's fine the file is right here sometimes it gets stuck on the other video but the file is right here and we can test and preview it and then if this is our call of duty test video commentary all right I don't know if you can hear that but the voice is in there now and you can if the volume is a little bit low you can turn the volume up with this volume slider uh, a lot of times the gameplay is too loud so I'll turn the volume slider up all the way or maybe to, to this depending on how low my voice was when I was commentating and then I'll turn the gameplay volume down a little bit because a lot of times your gameplay volume can get crazy loud also if you want to get really fancy which it helps a lot in videos especially if there's a lot of background noise and stuff on your microphone you can add music to your commentaries or instrumentals uh, you got to be careful with your copyright stuff but just say I wanted to use some instrumentals um let's see let's look up red hook noodles really 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 great um instrumental creators they they're on YouTube if you want to check them out and you pick one of your tracks that you want to upload and you can drag this here and bam you got your instrumental added now you could render this right here but also you can use the cut feature that Sony Vegas has you click on the end of your video you press S which splits the track now you can go on here and drag that part of the track away delete that by pressing delete and you have your track with your instrumentals you can probably want to turn your volume up on your voice up turn the instrumentals down a little bit and let's see how it sounds test recording testing one two three this is our call of duty test video commentary hmm. And you hear the instrumentals now. I don't know if you can hear it through my microphone, but the instrumentals playing through. And you have nice music going on with your video to kind of make it where it's, it's not as boring and adds a little bit of flavor to your video. Now that you have your video already, you can go to the rendering process. Now, depending on your speed, like I said, this takes different speeds but depending on your computer speed this is where your computer speed really really comes into play on how long this will take now you go to the rendering process render as and it will stop the preview and all the music or whatever's going on you title your video I go to test video 
and I'm saving it on my desktop as usual I save everything on my desktop you want to go you have tons of options of which um, format you want to save in the best for YouTube I've had so far is the 8 megabytes per second HD 1080 by 30p video and this is the highest definition possible and you click on that make sure everything's pretty much default right here you don't want it you don't want this box checked at all and you click render now since I have a really nice computer it's gonna take me a couple of minutes to render this um depending on just how much stuff you have in the more the more instrumentals you add in the longer it's gonna take and also the more voice the if also you can get even more complicated and add in different video files and piece them together which I can show you in a later video if you're interested but this is just the basics and I'm gonna stop the recording here on this video and show you the finished product after it's done rendering okay my video is finished and rendered so now I will show you a preview of this video which is right here test recording testing and one two three this is our call, call of duty pretty nice you got the music in the background video. commentary you got the commentary over it and yeah I'm gonna cut the video I'm not gonna show you the full thing just because it's unnecessary but that is the basics on how you render a video and you now can go to youtube.com and hopefully you've already signed up with the channel you hit the upload button you find that file that you rendered which mine was on the desktop you hit upload and depending on your internet speed you can have your video uploaded within a few minutes to an hour however fast or slow your internet upload speed is and guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope more of you consider becoming part of the YouTube community and uh, putting out videos and if you liked the tutorial you think it helped leave me a comment below and saying thank you if you want to or you can hit the like button and even the subscribe button or whatever I just hope I helped you and I hope the tutorial can help somebody out there that's what I really do these videos for us just to help people and anyways guys it's been bible man 251 and hope you have a nice day